Welcome to Backroom Breakdown with Lauren, your analysis of local, state, and federal politics. This is the first in DITV's new weekly politics segment, where I'll discuss important political events impacting Iowa City. I'm your host, Lauren Johnson. The big news from this past weekend comes from right here in Iowa City. Freshman Congresswoman Marionette Miller Meeks announced her candidacy at an Iowa City tailgate construction site with the words, we are going to build back better. Miller Meeks was joined by many well-known high-ranking Republicans, including Senator Tom Cotton from Arkansas and former Iowa Governor Terry Branstad. Miller Meeks' event was also attended by fellow Iowa Republican representatives Randy Feenstra and Ashley Hinson. Miller Meeks kicked things off with a 12-minute speech heavily criticizing the Biden administration's handling of the Afghanistan withdrawal. Her speech focused little on Iowa directly, instead going after larger national and international issues, saying the U.S. is, quote, at a precipice, unquote. She continued to say mask and vaccine mandates are not needed, despite COVID cases continuing to rise in both adults and children. In August, Miller Meeks came under fire for spreading misinformation, saying children don't spread the virus. Last week, nearly 3,400 COVID-19 infections were children. Miller Meeks also came under fire recently for tweeting a false satirical article claiming Biden was withholding VA benefits from unvaccinated veterans with the caption, if true, this is insane. She has not taken down the tweet. After she finished her speech, Republican Senator Tom Cotton spoke for 20 minutes on many of the same political issues as Miller Meeks. He started by saying that he hadn't yet been at a game in the, quote, People's Republic of Johnson County, end quote. Cotton, a current GOP favorite for a 2024 run, plans to be a familiar face as Iowa prepares for multiple tense races this next year. The races for both governor and the House could affect not only Iowa, but also the nation. Though Miller Meeks announced her candidacy at Streb Construction in Iowa City, it is currently unknown whether she will represent Johnson County in the 2022 midterm elections. The first proposed redistricting plan will make Iowa City part of District 1. Miller Meeks currently represents District 2. She won the highly contested district by just six votes. Miller Meeks already has competition in the 2022 election. Iowa State Representative Christina Bohannon announced her plans to run against Miller Meeks in August, becoming the first Democrat to do so. Thanks for tuning in to Backroom Breakdown with Lauren. I'll be back next time with the latest political news affecting Iowa City, Iowa, and the USA. I'm Lauren Johnson. Have a great day.